So obviously we can't hide from the topic of Arsenal Football Club. And we need to just go ask the question like, what the hell is going on there? I know it's only been three games, but I've I've never seen mm. Arsenal start a season like this. I know there's two big guns in there, but it's it's like a laughing stock at the moment. Isn't it? What's, what what is going on? I I just think um, Arteta. I think he's out of his depth. He's doing the best he can with what he's got, but unfortunately, he's not the the manager of quality that we need in this time. Um, unfortunately, um, we've got so many shit players there now. We've got good players, don't get me wrong, and I think we, you know, once we get the right players playing, then we might be all right. But with this shit that we got, um, he's not a good enough manager to get the best out of him. Let's say if we had someone, let's say Pep Guardiola was the manager right now, and he came in now, he could make some of these shit players better because he's just a better manager. He's good with players. Arteta, he's still, he's a novice. He's, he's too big of a job for him. But it's not just him. The players have been poor. There's a lot of shit now. Players like Aubameyang struggling, struggling. You know, he's got the money and now he seems uninterested. Um, it's just, it's just not a lot of quality in certain areas where we need. And just going briefly onto the, the board and the owners, they're just a joke. It's just absolutely embarrassing how the club is running. The fact is, is that this club's going to continue to charge loads of prices. Well, if we're a mid-table team now, you need to lower it because you're going to start losing revenue. And, and this is what I mean. They need to, they need to act now. Um, but they won't, but they need to act now. And it's just it's just complete shit show. And it's, it is what it is. Yes, best best two teams in the league, possibly. But that doesn't excuse it. We don't lose like that. We don't not have a shot on target. It's embarrassing. We're not fucking, we're not fucking Blackpool, are we? We're Arsenal Football Club. To lose like that and to start losing like this, it's just a joke. The manager needs to sort it out. The, t man the players need to get themselves fucking on it and play uh, with pride for this team and for this fans. And the owners and the backroom staff in the sense like Edu, they need to fucking sort themselves out, you know? Because if it continues like this, we need a complete overhaul. You say Blackpool, I had a Blackburn fan text me saying they'd have had more shots than you had in that game. Fucking, I wouldn't, but yeah, I wouldn't really pass him. It's just embarrassing. It's like back to the Wolves job at half time. He didn't want to concede more goals. That is bringing on Mohamed Elani. What the fuck is that about? How is he still in the club? Cedric Sauce, fuck off. Callum Chambers, it's, it's, it's been awful this season. I told you yeah. it was shit last year. It was though. shit. Crap. Sores, crap. Bellerin, gone. Bring this new Japanese boy in. I don't know much about him. I'm not going to be like other people acting like I know the player. I didn't know the player. Let's see how good he is. I think he'll start right back. Maitland Niles, let the guy fucking leave. He wants to go, let him leave. Is he that good? He's okay, but he's not a right back. He wants to play centre mid. And he's not good enough for Arsenal centre mid. I think the back, I think Mari, I've always said Mari was overrated. He's crap, you know. Holding's okay, but he's one of them defenders who needs someone with him. I think Grabby and White will be better. Tierney works his ass off. Tawaras is okay. Klasnach, what the fuck is he still doing in that football club? That's the defence we've got. And, you know, you just heard me now. Half of them players I just brought up, I'm, I want them out. That says everything you need to know <laughs> about defence. And then Eleni, I've already said, fuck off. Xhaka can be a backup. I'm, I'm not that mad at Xhaka, because at the end of the day, it is. Sometimes you lose your head. The guy has quality. Unfortunately, he just doesn't show it all the time. I wouldn't mind him staying, but if he left, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have really bothered, been bothered. Do you know what I mean? You know, Party needs to stay fit. I don't know why, you know, he got injured, never gets injured, but he's been in the club for a year now. He's been injured four or five times. What the fuck's all that about? Lukongu, why has he not started the last two games? He was our bright spike against Chelsea. He played well against Brentford, you know? And then you've got fucking Aubameyang and Ketty and Lacazette, the shit shows. Fucking, oh, what is Nketiah still doing there? I know he's injured, but I know he didn't even play, but it's just stuff like that. It's fucking shit show. I mean, it's just, it's just shit. I told shit. you that two years ago, didn't I? More interested in haircuts than football, those boys. Fucking dicks. Wait, Don't you said, what? wait, you said Pep. Yeah. But weren't Pep his mentor? Didn't he learn anything while he was... What is working under him? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You don't come into a football club as your first team, Arsenal. I'm sorry, Frank Lampard went to Derby and still went to Chelsea, what, a year later and still was not ready. There's no... But this is how the club run. At the time, Arteta went to Arsenal and Ancelotti went to Everton, yeah? That should have been the other way around, in reality, yeah? Everton, I'm skint now, but at the time they went, hi, Ancelotti, there's your wage. You can have as much money as you want. Go fucking spend it. We want you here. We want your big name. Because that's how he... He comes into clubs wanting... He goes, no, no, two-year project. I want loads of money, blah, blah, blah. Arsenal, instead of doing that for, our t um, for Ancelotti, they went, OK, we're going to hire this little noddy who's never managed a team before because we're going to throw peanuts at him and he's going to take the job. They can control Because it's his first job. They're going to go, here's your length. Here's your shit wage. Here's no money. Good luck. 
Bye bye. That's in, that. That's how the club run operated. They wouldn't have hired Angelotti because Angelotti would have come in and gone, "I want two hundred million. I need to sort this team out. Thank you." And they would have gone, "No." Pfft. Now they've come. Now they've given him money. Yes, he's now been backed, and he spends it on fucking reserve players. We spend one hundred fifty million, and apart from Odegaard and White, do you really look at that and go, first team regulars?" Yeah, no? was... the Japanese boy's not going to start for the first few weeks. Back up goalkeeper. Like in a 21-year-old uh, young lad who, who looks good, but no one never heard of him. Eight million on a backup left back. Why not get Ryan Bertram for free? <laughs> Didn't get that one. 31, the guy's going to come to the football club No one he's a backup. You've got this young 20-year-old for eight million who doesn't want to be a backup. In two years' time, he's like, no, I want to leave now. I don't want to be a backup. I'm good enough to play first-team football. Oh, shit, we sell him for free instead of... Uh, just, yeah, it's just... I don't know. Everything about this club at the moment is a bit shitty. Yeah, I thought you was going to do something more on deadline day. Based on what you what you had in, why didn't we not but, buy the boy you bought? What's his name? Edward, Edward. He would have been right. But then we got you know, we've, we're not going to buy a striker when you've got one on the three hundred thousand, another one on one hundred and fifty thousand. Um, again, that's, on the day the quality players, but I think their time has gone now. I think we needed a, a young striker. Plus, you ain't going to get any but, money for him if you no, don't sell him now. That's it now. No one's going to buy Bamiang, are they? The only team that would have bought him is Barcelona, and they fucked more than us. Skin. They fuck more than us. They make us look good with their transfer business. Anyway, going back to the shit show. Yeah. What's the only good thing to come out of Arsenal being a laughing stock at the moment? Good thing. Uh, Arsenal oh, fan TV. Yeah, That's Arsenal. a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, Arsenal. That's fan. good to watch at the moment. Arsenal fan TV. Do you yeah. watch it? Listen, I, I, I'm actually a fan of Robbie. Personally, I like Robbie, um, but I'm not the biggest fan of the show now because I think. It's become more of a business more than, you know, it, 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 again, I'm not banging on Robbie here, but if you watch Arsenal Fan TV now, there's all different presenters and everything. And Robbie's become a pundit. Robbie, you were just the guy asking the questions five Did years ago. Did you used to like it when he just was outside the ground? Yeah, just and doing asking his... questions, like four or five guys and then random people, you know, and even the guys are there, they were fine. But now it's like some other noddy and all these people doing shows asking him questions. Like, Robbie, you're not a pundit. So I don't like a pundit, just to ask the fans questions. And then some of them over, and, and they do. Robbie, Robbie, will, um, Robbie doesn't mind when Arsenal lose. I'm telling you now, because he knows he's going to get the ratings. Because all the away, all the other fans come and watch it. Because half the people who subscribe are not even Arsenal fans. Let's be honest. Yeah, they're just and that's to Robbie, watch the Robbie's, rounds, in, they, Robbie's yeah. in denial about that. Robbie, mate, trust me. That money you've made, half of it's from other clubs. You know, Maka absolutely loves mm. Arsenal fan TV because he loves watching it. He thinks it's hilarious. Who's that guy? The bald one? Is it Lee? Lee Judges. Lee judges yeah. I actually like he, Lee Judges. He makes me laugh. Man. I like Lee Judges. He, he normally talks sense. But when, so he, when, he, think... when the red mist goes out, he just goes yeah. into one. He goes he? into one, you know. he's. I like him, but again... What's he, that uh, one when he's having a go at Harry Kane? That cracked me up. Yeah, yeah. You dirty! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. DT, I, I've always... I, oh, DT, I don't mind DT. I don't know if some of that's put on with him, though. You know, yeah, that, I think, it I, seems a bit I, think a forced, lot, I think a lot of it is forced, you know. But, you know, there's a few guys on there who just... Waste men, and um, we know the main one that everyone could not stand. Um, Who's that? Well, there's a phrase now that a lot of people talk about. So you know, Nick, you really, I was talking to a friend the other day, and he said, "I've got a friend who's 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 a who's a tie." So what do you mean it's a tie? Well, he's deluded. Obviously, tie from Russell Fan TV. He's deluded. Okay. If you ask him now, hand on heart, can Arsenal win the Brit League? He will tell you we can still win the league. That's not a joke. And the fact is, where's he been? I've not seen him. I've not. I've not seen him at all since we lost the city. What's he hiding? Where's he gone? Why is he not talking? No, maybe he's cut the arse out, can he? No, because he knows he's going to come out and say shit, say that we, we can still win the league, or, or or he'll make excuses about the red card, or or not being this, not being that. If you watch half the shit he says, we lose, and then he'll talk about having a penalty that no one else saw. Like, come I... on the show, Ty, and just say we were beaten, we were smashed, we were shit. I've never, ever seen them do that. I we could lose 94 nil when he'll come on again. But we shouldn't have had two penalties, they should have had a red card. Doesn't matter, we lost fucking 94 nil, mate. I haven't seen him a lot, though. I've heard, like, obviously you moaned about him, but there was a there was a clip that people show and they were saying, like, got spanked by someone and then he tried to blame it on like the weather or the rain yeah or yeah, like yeah 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 and the, the, that, the rain that was that. one that like baffled me because you think well that's the same for both teams isn't it yeah. it's not just it weren't just raining on the arsenal <laughs> players was it no. yeah no it's every excuse in the book and if you, I, I do sometimes look at the live stream and um he'll, he'll um he'll go on about uh 
decisions like, oh, well, that was this, this was that, that was that. Shut the fuck up, mate. Does he put you off watching it? Um, yeah, I, I, I can't stomach him because I just think he's... It, to be fair, I do think he puts it on a little bit as well. I do think it's all a put on. And again, it's going back to the show. I think a lot of it now is put on. It's like it's like only way is Essex, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is for your entertainment. Robbie, Robbie had good intentions, but it, it, you know, at the end of the day, he's not a proper pundit because if Arsenal were proper, they would be in. They they they, they, they act like they're a proper news channel and all that. But let's be let's be frank. Were they ever in the stadiums when the games were played behind closed doors? Yeah, all they the, were in all, the, no. living room. They so most so you're not. You're not a proper business. You're a fan TV. Yeah. Stick to being fan TV. Get proper fans on there with proper opinions. Not people who purposely... There are some on there, but people like Ty, he's either an absolute mouth who's so deluded or it's all just put on to get people to watch it because Robbie, Robbie wants all the away fans to watch it. Is, am I, oh, no, I, listen, I don't disdain anyone and I don't hate Ty. I don't, he's just an irritating person. What, what would you do if you met Ty then? Oh, I'd just say you're deluded, mate. I wouldn't be, and then I ask him for a charity boxing match. <laughs> you wouldn't just, you wouldn't just slap him. No, I couldn't do that. I don't want to threaten him. No, I'd, I'd just call him. I'd check just, it. I'd check. just call him deluded Mel. Checking you. And then he'll probably, and then he'll probably just start. He does love his little rants. He'll probably have a go at me. <laughs> but he's like when he bugged off Troy Deeney. Have you seen that one? No. And then he saw Troy Deeney and he started getting excited with him. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine Troy Deeney just mugged him off though. No, no, he did. I think did I was, he? Was, did he, yeah, he, he said he said something about Troy Deeney being. I can't remember what it was. And then he met him, and he's all all over him, loving him or something. I've, yeah. Did, just, Troy, did Troy Deeney know he said it though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Troy Deeney's the fan of the show. Troy Deeney's been on the show. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. And why is he wearing his fucking headphones everywhere? Why yeah, is he wearing, I saw. He looks I saw like a six-year-old kid that, wearing yeah. all the all the fucking Arsenal stuff. And his little hat. Yeah, and his little hat. Just wear normal clothes, mate. Do you, do you reckon you could take him then in that charity boxing match? <laughs> Probably, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take him. We'd have to, we'd have to get it at like what, straw weight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not that small. <laughs> no, but he's quite small as well, yeah. though, isn't he? He's quite skinny. Tight. You wear it. Come on, let's get it sorted, mate. Robbie, contact the channel, mate. We'll get this sorted. No big on Robbie, by the way, though. I, I, I like the guy personally, but I do think it's definitely he's he's definitely making the money now, and he knows what he's doing. So, so right, hold on. Let's just go back a bit. So, just for the record, you will fight Ty from Arsenal Fan TV <laughs> in a celebrity, well, say celebrity, we're nobodies, <laughs> but in a charity boxing match, yeah? Match with, 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 with proper pads. headgear and yeah. big gloves and stuff, just, so just no, no one gets probably charity, hurt and stuff. Nothing yeah? get hurt, there's no ill feelings. So it's, It'll it, just be a bit of fun. So, who's going to organise it? Robbie or Eddie Hearn? <laughs> who's, who's the one you, and call? Robbie, you and Robbie. Me man. and Robbie, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so... It's just going to be in some sort of gym we'll, somewhere, yeah, random yeah, yeah. gym that we can get hold of. <laughs> <laughs> or, doing, or in someone's the field. <laughs> doing the field and then the police come down. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just going to be you, Ty, the referee. You're my cut man. In a ring, <laughs> head headgear, gloves, yeah. both naked. <laughs> no, I'm naked. <laughs> Why, no. why not naked? No, he's gonna wear his Arsenal stuff, right? Yeah, and I'm gonna wear normal clothes. <laughs> okay, what, yeah. if, what if the fans demand to see, to <laughs> see that version of it? Forget that bit. Okay, we we'll put it, we we'll put it out there to the, to <laughs> no, the subscribers. No, no, no. All forty-one of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, listen, it's all a bit of fun. All a bit of fun. Let's just, you know. Hopefully, right. one day, maybe in a few years, right, I'll, one, I'll, I'll, once, I'll, once Robbie listens to this, he can't stumble across it. <laughs> so, how, how old is Ty? Uh, he's older than what you think. He's in his 40s. Is, it, is he like pushing 50? I don't really know, to be fair. I don't know how old he is. That might, that might not be allowed, doesn't it? Cause... Ty, we love you, really, but you are deluded, mate. But if you ever want to do a charity boxing match, I'm happy. I'll, I'll, I'll commit to it. Right. Yeah. right, you've heard it here first. The Don Jones, all seven and a half stone of him. He wants tie. I'm eleven and a half. In stone. a boxing match, allegedly both fully clothed, but we will confirm that at a later date. Yeah. So, let us know what your thoughts are, guys. Do you want to see the Don and Ty get it on? In the boxing ring, that is. <laughs> let us know. Yeah. Oh. Right. Cool. Yeah. That was a good little chat, wasn't it, G? Yeah. All good. Yeah. <laughs>